effort here of the smoke to try to get a big epic. This one goes five oh as well. It's gonna feel pretty bad. They're gonna try and fully commit onto Thompson. Thompson straight away, still get the time to find the tornado. Trying to juke it out, but they will get him. Okay. They get one. Let's see if they can chase for more. Money's in onto the high ground. A little more seven. No tail. Jump forward with the swashbuckle. No tail. Very low. Lano's gonna look to roll him down. We'll find him with the rolling thunder. Rolls across, but they've lost Mone. Mone's been taken out by Anna. Setsu pops the stone gaze, forcing OG back. But Anna's ready to turn with the radiance. He's burning Setsu down low. They do lose no tail. Anna trying to fight around this shrine ages. area. Does still have the Aegis, so he's not too worried about any of RNG's attempts to bring him down. Thompson's also bought back and he's chasing forward. He wants yeah, to get Monet, but he's also bought back. It's out onto Monet. Monet looks to be on the verge of a dieback. The echo. One more round and Anna's in. On to Setsu. Triple kill for Anna. Finally cut down by Monet with the slider fist, but it's only an Aegis. Anna's going to be back. He'll move towards Jarex. Fly by Arfu, having to keep Monet alive. He's got a round and will be able to get away. Ice Blast is down onto Anna. Anna, turning. Holding his ground, punching into Arfu. It's very tanky. He can now move back over to Mone. No remnant left. Mone will fall. It's a dieback on the Ember Spirit. Another one. Fly by also getting chased. No forest strike available. More kills for OG as RNG end up all dead once again. Bold move into this enemy jungle. Just trying to scout out some of these stacks to see what's going on. It's turning this on with a stun though. Only follow up lockdown doesn't look like it. The bait not quite here, at least not right now. Jerk's charging on forward, has the turn. They're trying to bait up this borrowed time. Echo Slime comes in, doesn't do a whole lot of damage, barely clips Arteezy and S4. Borrowed times it off here as Arteezy does pop the Godric. He's gonna look to go in and fight the skewer. Is there followed by now? People the fear! It stops the Omni Slash that saves their lives here. They still could still look to turn this one around. Anna goes in with the healing ward, but without the Omni Slash on the RP, crit saves the day. The healing ward gets sniped as well by Sumail. He does manage to dodge the stun from the storm ball here as Anna goes charging forward here. The blade fear damage should be enough with the Omni Slash follow up. He doesn't even need the Omni Slash. He finds it now. He gets the double kill. Anna playing this fight so incredibly well on the back lines. Speed nightmare up though. Sumail like Jason kill. It's like Anna's gonna be back to safety as Sumail. Yeah, he's gonna slide and fist down the Pugna. Sumail on a mega kill streak. An objective to be looking for. Oh, double damage, Jug, smoke. Right into Roshan they go. Do Dyer know this? There's, I think there's a radiant things coming out. I believe EG actually. They don't know what's happening. Yeah. There's such good radiant vision. And Seb's position on the outside of the pit. He wants to be able to, you know, scout your own. Now we know. Yeah, but it's gonna be too late. Thompson. He Here. Heads himself out. They need to get that deer in soon. I believe they're going to be a little bit too late here. Can Crit get in on time? He's got a Blade Fury as well if he needs to use it. Anna's trying to get a low there. It's going to be a red into the pit. He comes in too late. Anna's already got it. Anna picked up the Aegis, spoiled the Roshan kill. And OG want to take this fight. Now they've got an Aegis. They take out the Dark Lord to start the fight. Arteezy comes in the back line, goes on the Pugna, but the problem is he's got no solution for the DK. If there's no BKB, he's been the RP now as well. The RP catches out a couple here. Anna charging forward. He's still got Omni Slash, but he doesn't want to commit that on Sumail, but he does once he's burned his mana. He knows there was no fire running out. He burned his mana with the Diffusal Blade. He's hit, killed off three. S4 now in trouble. No borrowed time available. They're killing him one by one. Jarek tips S4. I think they know this Swede has no escape to the Diffusal Blade slow. S4 is going to be the fourth casualty. Arteezy got RP. It does catch. OG, but they'll Thompson. see them. Thompson, he'll reveal himself, running straight in, going for Setsu. Now the Hawk comes out, Flyby will be able to get him with a bow trap, but Jarex lands down the fissure and they burn out of mana. Setsu does manage to get the stone gaze out, but now he's got to try and run. He's sort of trapped him by the fissure, surrounded. Seps on top of him with the lasso, who drags him away from any potential rolling thunder interrupting him as they killed Setsu, they killed Lana. Flyby is also in a world of hurt as he's dusted up, surrounded. He's got the one charges. Will Burrow drag himself out of there. Now Monet does come in. Just triple remnant everyone's down. He's just dead. He's triple remnant it. You've got to tip it. You've got to tip this ember. What the? Drop him a tip. He's out of the game. He's tilted. He's done. They probably just think that they lost the game at I this think point. They Did they that do. move? Even with the ice blast, they won't be able to bring it down low enough. That pipe keeping Seb alive. RNG, oh, they've got to back up. Already a lot of damage being done by that Radiance that Anna's just picked up. He's got that Spectral Dagger cooldown as well, so he's going to continue throwing those out to chase forward Afu. Definitely dead here as Thompson wants to catch another big target. Oh, slammed. The Jarex is in. No hesitation. Jumps forward onto the Amber Spirit. Flyby They're surrounded in the trees as the Sand King will slowly get right-clicked down behind all it all. 
you got to maybe call it soon. I or at least so. start just thinking about what you're doing in game two if your RNG is 23. Ana starting to also run over. See how they can start the fight. Got the ward down, OG. So they've just got the vision of all of them pretty much. Anna comes in from the side with the slight spam. They'll try and turn with the setup stun. Ravage comes out on the side. Jerex did. Catches the two of them with the echo stun. Will be Laguna. Light track raid. Jerex getting stunned up. He's still he gets the Fisher out. He gets all of his spells out before he falls. And there'll be a buyback for no one in the attempt to turn things around. But they've already lost both Roger and Solo. Ramsey's focusing on to no tail. They'll get a second support kill in return. Thompson's in with the combo. Tossing them into the two. Setting up perfectly for the oh slight of this. Interchange from Anna. Thompson with that set of combo will allow OG to clean the fight right up. And that's a no one die back. He joined back up toward the fight. They threw it. But they get the control. Jarex able to get the stun and Sep survived their own. Back in the game, Bishop. What well, Ramsey's and Solo sort of separate them from the team. Solo's going to be the easy kill. Ramsey's trying to get away, but Anna's going to be hot in the chase, jumping on top of him with the remnants, turn with the dragon tail. Holds Anna back a little bit, but still, a slide of fist chains comes out. He's getting melted, shredded by Seb's impetuses, and it's more kills for Anna, as Anna's net worth has just shot up sky high. And not until the super, super, super late game dragon. And then even then, then you're playing versus super late game with an e with a, when they have an ET who buffs up everything. He makes everyone do more damage. Distance. Oh, they really think they Hey, he dodges it. He dodges it at least. He's not dead yet. But he is dead. Oh, uh, oh he styles on him. That's just oh, he styles. He waits. That's just me. He, 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 he didn't he get the bail strip. He didn't get the bail strip. He, yeah, he, he, he would have lived. He oh, man. Oh, that is that is brutal. I love it, Adam. And looking for something, Seth breaks it immediately, positioned up on this high ground. That was it. 20,000 experience lead. It's not a plus no. 96%. Jarex in. jumps in for it. They're tanky though, so they don't kind of care. Echo slam for what? We're fine, boys. And now no one's going to come up with the wraparound from the top. He's looking towards Jarek. But then it's jumping from Anna. Ravage does catch out Anna Seb. The wraparound is looking for Roger. Pashes in with the crush. There's going to be the double buybacks coming out from VP. They're trying their best to turn this one around. They do land the stun onto Seb. But Seb, the heal, the nature's attendance keeps him alive. Anna's falling low. He's but he's going to live. He finally falls, but he has the edges. He's ready for round two. They do chase down Jarek. But no one is finished off. Two dead without buyback. Three dead without buyback. Anna getting the triple kill. Level 25 talent. We all know. Yeah. The double focus fire is going to be insane. Well, here we go. There actually is going to be a hole in socks that does deal with that. They're going to stun on in 33 on the backside. Wants to go for Thompson. Looks like the tree might be the first one dead. Seb does oh. a nice two man call. 33. He's getting kited as well. Jarex will be the first one to die. Peter. He's going to die as well. Fawn is getting slowed. There's an orb smashing him in the face. 33 is still alive. Look at these damn the damage. The orbs are just melting them right now. I believe this strat is called balls to the face strat. Yep. Oh, they know. Balls to the walls. Do they not know? That works too. Dude, I just want to say Ana was like at 100 health and he just lived. The, so. the buyback from No Tail getting yep. the save. The buyback of No Tail disruption into the tree armor, into the shrine. Like, into this, the you're... overdrive. Uh oh, Peter. You gotta be careful. There's just an ulti. 33 misses the stun as well. And all of a sudden, there's a root on the backside on Fada as well. Peter is still alive. Tossed it. He might be getting a little overly aggressive. Ana's here now. No, he's not. They're going to get a tower plus a kill. It's still a 7k lead, but you just feel this is... This is they're so fast, dude. 600 move speed on both heroes. They can't do anything. They're just running everyone down. 30, he's dead. <laughs> this is so cloudy, man. <laughs> This is like a 4K. This is, is a dumb. This is an OG. But this might just be an easy racks here. Dude, I just want 25 on Ana before this game ends. Oh, Please. we're gonna get it, my friend. Please. He's close. He's very close. Spirit will go down. They need another stop, but this will be the melee racks going down before 40 minutes. Look at this. He's actually running for it. Oh, he wanted to get it off. Can't quite yet. On the backside, they're going in though. It is gonna be Socks. It looks like he's gonna be the next one tonight. Battle Hunger plus Orb just smacking him up. Ace needs to run away now. There will be a stun going on the top side, but Ace is already almost dead. The Orb just hitting him through his ult. He's still taking so much damage. He can't even leave. Oh, and he gets blocked right there by Seb. This will be a kill. There goes the Gemma True Sight. Yes, he 25. might have used buyback. 25. And he does have it now. Tether the Wind Ranger. Go. He's gonna uh, by the way, level 25 talent. He will attack everything that his tether target attacks. Get ready. They're just gonna end it. They can end it because they can. Look at that. Dude, and this is backdoor protection, by the way. This, this is backdoor protection. I guarantee they're doing this on purpose. They're like, guys, don't even get the creep wave. Yep. I love Peter. He knows. He's like, wait, this game's probably over, but what can we do?
still backdoor protection. They are just melting it. There will be a stun forward. It is going to be two. Lincolns will proc one. They find the axe this time. He will get put under, though. There's going to be an ulti from 33. Already takes so Jim. He gets rooted, so he can't even get on top of anyone. Seth just gets his BKB up. OG just kiting around everywhere. Ace has to run all the dive to the orb. <laughs> it's too much. The Anna IO. They're just going into there. They can't do anything. They're all just spraying. What can you do? Give someone a rampage? I don't think they can. They're going in the fountain. They're waiting for NIP to call GG, but they won't. And look at this, they go in. Ana with the triple kill. Ana with an ultra kill. There's a Sand King. Where is he? They know. The IO doesn't have ulti to come get him. NIP now. Well, NIP's trying to trade here. They do a yeah. lot of damage to towers. They have the Bloodlusted and Solar Crested Bear. The problem is you've already lost the look at this. They're just going straight for the, the, the throne, my friend. They're going to try to bring down this tier four. Will they be able to? They're going to have to start TPing back. There goes one tier four. Oh, gee. They're going He's nuts. Here we go. He's just sitting there. He is trying to take down that Rax, but PPD goes down. We can sing for Ana. Fada. He's not even going to be able to make it back. You're right, Fada. You're found, but you can't do anything. There's he's going, going the clip. He is going for the throne. Can he do it himself? It's going to be tough, but he's going. There's going to be TP back. Do we have anything to cancel it? Doesn't look like we do. Soxa, he's going for a kill. He wants to release the shadow demon. There's a glimmer cape, though. They can't even bring him down. And it looks like they will back up. Did he even get a tower? He did not, but they did get the full set of Rax and all the contestant. Fighting around Roshan, this is where buybacks really come into play. And Pugna, buyback on cooldown means Thompson has to play this Roshan fight incredibly cautiously. Balls to Bales just going to go rendering in. They get the two man roots. Is there a few to follow it up? You betcha catches out two. Jerex is in trouble. He's been taken out by Ortiz. He instantly buys back, but they've also lost No Tail, who does not have a buyback. And Thompson, we talked about his buyback sets. He's dead for 75. This could be EG securing themselves Roshan. Anna's been slept up. Is there a feed script? It's on cooldown. It's already being used. Anna's got the Blade Fury. Anna still has ulti. Yeah, Ember Spirit is out of the Remnant. Yeah, they throw out the RP. There's going to be a Nightmare to try and save him. Sumail's out of mana. Sumail's dead, and they're going to lose Sven as well. Anna with a double kill for his team. Only got the one kill. Godlike Streak on Arteezy is ended as S4 does not have far in time, and the Blade Fury is just going to look to chase him down. Jerex with the stuns. His buyback coming into play there. They should go straight into Roche, but they still have a healing ward. They're out here. To get whatever experience he can at bottom. Uh, they had a war behind the tower, but it was just the war there by Stinger. Still playing very aggressive here. Have the call down in five. And uh, Thompson's on the run. He's got the wax out. He's coming. Uh, top, no tail. Stomp going to connect onto two. Lots of damage that one on a Stinger. Needs another punch here in a second. They Don't worry, guys. It. I'm here. Thompson shows up to make sure he gets that kill afterwards. Typical invoker contribution. Yeah, the guy's dead. No, I'll tornado him. I got him, guys. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. 350 health town taken on Fada now, and a solar crest, so he's a beefy boy. And the multicast minus. How they are smoked up. He only got the 2x, but it just feels so good either way. And they are smoked up looking to make something happen. They have a BKB on Wraith King, so even though they have the mana burn against his ultimate, it doesn't work oh, good no BKB. Tail. This is not where you want to be either. This is a nice payoff to get early. Fauna is there. They're doing soul crest. Oh, oh, there's a ulti by seven. Is it enough? Fauna will be able to just run out, though. There is going to be a fear. They're trying to run away. Seb actually goes down. They just have a little bit more of a net worth, or do they? Thompson with the BKB is just chunking him down, but Ace is trying to chunk down. Ana trying to keep alive. Thompson, this is the course. There will be a stun up. 33. He's looking like he's in a lot of trouble. No Tail actually never ended up dying. Ace, he's a little bit trolling himself. He already used his one. He doesn't have any mana, and all of a sudden, Sox says godlike, though. Double damage. He's getting run down. He didn't make it uphill. He's going to die as well. What's happening? The tip goes out. That is a godlike Sox. He just gave 800 gold to Thompson, and I think this is just. This is